Stop, stop. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my God. It's a little bit tight, but <laughs> I'm ready to be boiled. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts, Arne and Carlos, and we are back with yet another tutorial. Today, we are going to be talking about leftover yarn. We are going to be um, showing you this beautiful sweater that I will never be able to wear. And uh, Arne, what else do you have in mind? Uh, I will show you how to make that uh, picot. The picot um, edging on the neckline. On the collar. On the collar. Wow, that's a good, that's a good thing to learn. It's uh, a very that? decorative neck. Yeah, it, it's the best neck, I think. Yeah? yeah? It's a nice finish. It's a nice finish and then when you fold it down, it kind of folds down neatly, doesn't it? And yeah. then you sew the, the rest. And like when we do the, the neckline with the, this uh, target count, uh, the, the picot, picot. Um, it's best to have a rib that is one knit and one pearl. Mm, okay. Yeah. Anyway, before we start doing that, uh, I think you should show everybody the gorgeous, the gorgeous and amazing sweater. sweater that you have uh, made. Have you, you have knitted this from your head, just right? No, I, I, I did make a pattern. Like, I mean, Arne, if you see it, you see it, yes. Name the mønster. Resten er from my head. Okay. <laughs> so you didn't knit it from your head. You knit it from a chart. Uh, no, oh. I made a chart for the pattern. Okay, I, let's start. I, I, I was drawing like a pattern. I made a chart. Wait, wait, wait. This, this I made. Let's this. start all over okay. again, okay? Okay. So Arne, um, now let's talk about this gorgeous sweater that you have uh, been knitting. Yeah. Um, it's really, really pretty. Thank and uh, I heard you made a really nice <laughs> chart for that. <laughs> yeah, I made a chart like... I, What's so funny? Chart? That's funny. I, 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 have you had a comment? I, I, I pronounced the word wrong. Sh well... Because when I say it, it's something else. Okay. Which we can't say on YouTube because then it will be beeped. Beeped, or beeped? I, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. But I, I can't say it the proper way. Chart. Chart. There you go. Chart. 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 <laughs> I say chart, and that's something different. I okay. I, I just, I'm learning a lot of English. Yes, you are, definitely. Yeah. But are, talking yeah. about my beautiful sweater, so I made, I made the, like, I, I made a drawing of the pattern. A chart. A, a chart. Yes. And then I just uh, measured myself. Yes, you did. And casted on the stitches I needed, and I just knit. Yeah. And the same with the sleeve. So. And unfortunately, I am taller than Arne is, and I also have a, a longer upper torso. A very long upper torso. No, so not a very can... long. It's just longer than yours. Yeah, so this will be like, you will show your belly button. If I, yeah, if yeah. I wear this sweater, it's going to be a cropped sweater. I don't wear no cropped sweaters, that's for sure. But I so... have to tell you, I made this a little bit tight because I have a tendency to pull everything. So like when I'm yeah. wearing stuff, it gets saggy and bigger and yeah. so I made this a little bit tight so I will look like a stuffed sausage I guess the first <laughs> time won't. I use it. A what? Was, isn't that a stuffed papersha? What's that in English? <laughs> a stuffed sausage. <laughs> stuffed it's like when you make sausages you have the skin and you yeah. pull the meat inside. But that's not that's not what you're gonna look like. You're gonna look gorgeous in this sweater. <laughs> After a while I will look gorgeous but when I put it on the first time I will look like I'm, I'm coming right out from the yeah. sausage factory. <laughs> I'm ready to be boiled. <laughs> Put me in like a bed with some mayonnaise and ketchup on top. And... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, will, no. I, I will be so delicious. <laughs> okay, that's it. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, stop. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, okay, take a deep breath. Okay, let's breathe. 
Oh, this was hilarious. Oh my God, so funny. I'm crying. Oh my God, you've never seen me cry on YouTube before. <laughs> it's the first time for everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, okay, Eric, hold yourself <laughs> together. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Okay, the, the, it's a little bit tight. But. <laughs> But it will be looser because when I use stuff, I, I pull it like this. I'm always stretching stuff. Um, yeah. So it will be nice after a while. Okay? <laughs> and this is knitted like the old fashioned way and sticked. Good, you're quiet. Now I can show, well, yeah. show you something really nice. This is how, how you cover up the sticking. So instead of having that zigzag over the raw edges or a raw edge you make this facing and you fold it over and then you stitch it down very nice and that's what we're doing on the top as well because mm. now after the sticking there's a lot of raw edges here so that's why i lost the stitch i lost mm. two stitches that's okay. why i make the neck the collar the neck the, yeah the neck or the collar yeah a uh, double yeah and to make it really nice, you make the, the picot. picot. Yeah, because what's nice with that is that you'll have that picot row and then it kind of will fold yeah. really easily. And then once you kind of put it, you know, fold it. You say it so well. It will just look very clean. Yes, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so look now. now. So I've decided this is the height of my color. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to do the picot. So what you do is that you are knitting two stitches together. Let me see. I started with a knit stitch. So I just knit two together. Mm -hmm. Like this. It's a bit tight. And then yarn over. And then stitch. And two together. On it. Sorry. Oh, this was tight. This so knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. Yeah, that's, that's what you do for Easy. the whole round. And then you get these holes. And then when you start again, you just do the same ribbing yeah. again. Mm. And then you fold that down and sew it on the back. And then you cover up this bad. Yeah. So do a little bit of that so that we can all see, you know, what it's going to be looking like eventually. Um, yeah. And mouth teeth is another word I've heard for this kind of yeah design so I, it's I think it's like, or mouth's te teeth because it will be like a little it'll be like a little scallop edge won't it somehow or a yeah, little I mean, I remember we a, did that in a book once and we didn't know the the word in Norwegian we or we didn't I think we used the pico and mm. then the Norwegian word came out as a moose a tug mm. remember yeah was that wrong no yeah, but I've, I've heard, I think, I think in Dutch, I think, among other languages, I think that they say mouths, teeth in Dutch yeah. um, as well. And so, but yeah, it's a very clean kind of way to do a, a nice, simple edging, um, which will fold naturally once it's done. Yeah. Um, but I'm really, I, I was like hoping, like we, we started that uh, quarantine knitting on YouTube. You, mm, you remember? Yeah, like, I do remember that. Everything we do is on YouTube. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we started the quarantine knitting and I was thinking like now I will get rid of all the leftover yarn, but it didn't happen. So I also started um, a crochet blanket Yep. and there's still a lot of leftover yarn. And then I did this one mm -hmm. and you can't see the difference. There's like, it doesn't seem like I've used leftover yarn at all because yeah. there's so much left there's so yarn. much of it yeah so this is a you've used a merino uh, one so it's like a dk 22 stitches this per 10 centimeters 22 on 10 centimeters yeah it's dk it looks like a dk yarn to me yeah. in all these different colors and then you have done a mashup of different patterns some of them i see are traditional some i think you have invented yeah this is i didn't have a plan i just made like the chart. 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 <laughs> and the idea is to make it look like kind of haphazard, um, the patterning. Yeah. Yeah. I really love your sweater and I'm a little 
little bit disappointed that it's too short. But you know, there's more yarn up there. Yes, I know. So what you're saying is go get some some yarn and knit it yourself if you want it, which is ab absolutely the yeah, right you thing. Can, you can knit from this. Do. You can look at this and knit what you see. Mm, yeah, it's it's beautiful. So I, I will definitely do that for sure. Maybe. I don't know why this kind was of. so hard today, but sometimes like when I use this circular, it, this is like a very short circular. I don't know, maybe it's 40 centimeters or something. Sometimes it's actually hard because it disappears in my hand. Yeah, it's a 40 centimeter circular, yeah. so it's very so short. So sometimes I really, I could have used four double pointed needles, but I went with this one. Yeah, and, and my, fir my first stitch is a knit stitch and my second stitch is a purl. That's why it's a bit hard to knit. Hmm. So, oh, so yeah, because you said you did a one by one. Rib. I did a one yeah. by one rib, but as long as you knit two together and take yarn over, it doesn't matter if the first one is a purl or a knit. Yeah. I want to point out the yarn splits. Mm. I want to point out a couple of other interesting things you have done with this sweater. Um, What's that? One of the most interesting aspects is that you um, actually use the sewing machine to sew. I, you, I don't know why. I try to impress people maybe because I was doing that, the stitching together. The like Kitchener the maybe Kitchener, or something. And I had the sewing machine out because I was also doing the sticking and the folk costume and, and the everything. folk. Yeah. yeah. And then I was thinking like, why am I doing Kitchener when the sewing machine is in front of yeah, me? Yeah, why? So I just took the sewing machine and I sew the shoulders together when I had decided the, the opening mm. of the neck. So I have to take it out again and make uh, this, this, this seam from the sewing machine all the way. Yeah, but that sewing, that seam is actually quite see, nice. This is the yeah. seam from the sewing machine. This is where I did my sewing together. Kitchener, Not yeah. Kitchener actually, but I sewed it together by hand. So I have to take out this part and just mm. do the sewing machine. And it comes out nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I think. And no, I, I actually, I, I like to sew the, the, the sweaters together with sewing machine. Because did you do that when you were a kid as well or a teenager? Or yeah, that's kind of like what I'm normally do or mm. what we normally do. Your did. mom, your grandmother as well. Yeah. I don't know yeah. why because there was a sewing machine and it was quicker. Well, it is. I mean, everything works. Yeah. And, and also when you have that seam on the shoulder, I think the garment mm -hmm. is more uh, stable. stable. Yeah. Because but when you sew it together, obviously you have to be a little careful because it's stretch. I mean, you're working with a stretch material, so I suppose. But I use long stitches. Yeah, exactly. You use, don't use like the shortest one no. because then. Then you have one side which will be straight and the other will be like yeah. curled up. Yeah, so long stitches is. And be a little careful if you're going to do it in the sewing machine to make sure that both, fa both sides go at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so. so um, this is how the hole is coming up but I have to go the, go the whole round to show yeah. you how nice it gets when you fold it down so you can tell the story while I'm doing this yeah or we could uh, or we could do a picture <laughs> at the end of the tutorial as well yeah or we could just sit and, and do this and then Eric can film this and we can do we can go we can do forward we can do the TV way we'll say we'll be right back after this yeah or something like that okay okay so we are back yeah this was fast forward we're back 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 again yeah. and uh, so, see now I have the I've done one round with two together and yarn over yeah so you have so those you little have those, holes the holes so, and then you just continue knitting the rib again and then the in this case the yarn over is a pearl and the two together is a knit. Mm -hmm. So now, and now I just knit the rib with so many rounds as I did for the first part. Okay? Yeah. Question? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it's very straightforward. And then you just do the same, you do the, the same number of rows that you did before, I guess, before the, exactly. the picot. Exactly. And then when you bind off, you just... Bind loosely off. Yeah, and then you just sew it together. Like and then uh, you fold it down and you sew it together. Mm. No steaming, and then you though. Will, no, never steam the rib. 
Very important. And then you will have a really nice neckline mm. or, or collar. You can say, yeah, you can uh, say the collar or the neck. Sometimes, like if you, ha sometimes I feel like if 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 uh, we made a sweater and and the rib is just one one layer, mm -hmm. I feel that sometimes it's a little bit loose and yeah, on a handmade, yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. it 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 can also like it is also important to make a nice bind off mm. when that's the end of the of the color yeah i agree i agree but i think like if, if you do a double color especially when you do steaking you i think when you do steaking you need to do hey, a double color if you have cut out the neckline helmer wants to look out the window huh maybe there's so a moose he's, there. maybe there's a moose he is um so now he's trying to poke his head out mm -hmm. to have a look uh so I think he knows that there's something out there, huh? So now yeah, I've man. done one round. So now when I do the second round, you will s I can fold it down and then you mm -hmm. will see how it comes out. I do. So soon this will be finished, but I have to open the sleeves again and remake the, the shoulder at, at the, the tip of the shoulder because mm -hmm. I really prefer the machine. Yeah. And now you can start seeing the hole, the holes. The holes. Now I have problem. I have a problem. Oh, you have a yarn barf. <laughs> can you fix that for me? I'll try. I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say when the yarn comes out all tangled up. It's a yarn barf. Yarn barf. So, okay. Almost there. And now it's easier to knit again with the short cable because I don't do two together. But I have to say, when you knit with these short needles, it's a bit, a little bit hard on your hands. It is. Yeah. Because they're kind of, I think they're too small for my hands. Mm. They disappear. Yeah. Oh wow! How how on earth did this happen? And there was one thread loose there because the yarn broke, have yeah. been broken some places, but I don't care. I just sew it in later. Yeah, yeah, well, the, yeah, of course. That's so, usually very doable. Soon I will wear this beautiful sweater on, on sit and knit or something. Mm. We'll see. Yeah, I, I can't wait. It's going to be nice. If I manage to finish it because I have so much things going on right now, but I should manage to finish. Ten rounds of ribbing, I guess. Yeah, it's going to be great seeing you wear the sweater in one of the uh, the sit and knit for a bit episodes. So it's really exciting, and um, I hope you don't look like a stuffed. What was it you called it? A cabbage sausage. Sausage. <laughs> you can hope. I don't think you will. <laughs> you might have to wear it a little bit beforehand so that it stretches. You know, so that you. So I can stretch it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now I'm very excited to see. Yeah, I should stop now. When you when you finish your round, I'm really excited to see if you can just fold it down. I can fold it down. Look. So we can see exactly what it will look like when it's so done. So now, when you finish this, you add you make this length again, and then you when you sew it down, you fold it like this, and then you have this little. Pico edge. Pico edge, yes. Isn't that's nice? Let's see. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Very, very nice. So that's how we finish the neckline. So should I just break this and tie it together? You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that I I don't have more to say, Carlos. This is what I want to show you. Okay. How to make a nice. Actually, I'm making progress here, so I am not going to break the yarn. I am gonna I'm going to succeed in getting this untangled. And uh, while, well, before I do that, um, I think it's time to do a few formalities. Yeah. And then uh, once the camera is off, I'm going to you know, continue helping you out with this. So uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, episode. Um, and uh, if you did, please give us um, a thumbs up and maybe you know, some engagement, a comment, for example. Uh, remember to turn on your notifications by clicking the notifications bell. That way you will always be notified of when we post a new episode and you'll never miss anything. 
and uh, please subscribe to our channel if you're not doing so. Um, it is a great uh, privilege to have all of you as subscribers and we're more than happy to welcome more people over to our channel. So uh, please consider doing that. There's a lot of fun stuff here that I'm sure you're going to enjoy or we're sure that you're going to enjoy. So um, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, <laughs> detangling this for you and you keep doing your Pico I think edge. I will finish this sweater and this evening. I really look forward to seeing you wearing this in a sit and knit for a bit episode in the future. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again uh, same time, same place next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And I'm going to put this on you. You have to wear this. No, I am not going to look like a stuffed sausage. <laughs>